The lights dimmed, casting a soft glow over the Zurich Stadium. Taylor Swift, adorned in a shimmering silver dress, emerged onto the stage, captivating the audience with her opening song. Her melodious voice filled the air as she moved gracefully, each step resonating with the energy of the crowd. Unbeknownst to most, in the VIP section sat a young woman named Alara, battling a terminal illness. This night, for her, was a dream come true, a chance to witness her idol's performance live, perhaps for the last time. Alara's eyes sparkled with a mix of joy and quiet sorrow as she sang along, her voice barely a whisper. Taylor, known for her genuine connection with fans, noticed Alara during one of her heartfelt ballads. Her heart skipped a beat as she saw the young woman's radiant spirit fighting through the visible signs of her illness. In a spontaneous moment of empathy, Taylor decided to deviate from her planned routine. Midway through the song, Taylor stepped off the stage and began walking towards the VIP section. The crowd, surprised and confused, fell silent as they watched their beloved singer's unexpected move. Alara, unaware of the attention she was about to receive, continued singing along, tears streaming down her face. As Taylor reached Alara, she knelt down, her eyes locked onto the young woman's. The stadium was silent as everyone held their breath, wondering what was about to happen. In a soft, gentle voice, Taylor asked, Alara, can I hug you? Alara, overcome with emotion, nodded, unable to speak. Taylor embraced her, whispering words of encouragement and love. The moment felt like an eternity, yet it was over in a flash. The crowd erupted in applause, their cheers and whistles filled with love and admiration for Taylor's gesture. Back on stage, Taylor dedicated the next song to Alara, her voice laced with emotion. Alara, in the arms of her mother, continued to sing along, her heart overflowing with gratitude. That night, the era's tour became more than just a concert, it transformed into a beacon of hope and love, forever etched in the memory of everyone present. News of Taylor's touching moments spread like wildfire, captivating the world with its raw display of compassion. Alara, though frail in body, became an emblem of resilience and the power of music to heal and connect. As for Taylor, she continued her tour, her heart touched by Alara's spirit, forever reminded of the night she shared an embrace that transcended the boundaries of fame and fandom. The lights dimmed, and the roar of the crowd in the Letzigrund Stadium in Zurich reached a fever pitch. Taylor Swift, adorned in a shimmering bodysuit, emerged onto the stage, her presence electrifying the air. It was the era's tour, and the energy was palpable, a shared experience between the superstar and her devoted fans. Yet, unbeknownst to the crowd, amidst the spectacle and euphoria, a different story was unfolding backstage. A young woman named Anya, her frail body ravaged by cancer, had been granted a special wish by a charitable organization, to meet her idol, Taylor Swift. Anya, her eyes filled with a mixture of excitement and apprehension, sat in a wheelchair, her mother gently holding her hand. Taylor, having been informed of Anya's condition, quietly slipped away from the pre-show preparations, her heart heavy with empathy. As Taylor approached Anya, the noise of the stadium faded into the background. It was just two souls, their shared humanity eclipsing the fame and fandom. Taylor knelt beside Anya, her eyes locking onto the young woman's. Anya's face lit up, a brief respite from the pain and suffering she had endured. Hi Anya, Taylor said softly, her voice filled with warmth and compassion. It's so nice to meet you. Anya, her voice barely a whisper, replied, I can't believe I'm actually meeting you, Taylor. You've been my inspiration through everything. Taylor, touched by Anya's words, reached out and gently took her hand. Anya, you're an inspiration to me. Your strength and courage are amazing. A moment of silence hung between them, filled with unspoken emotions. Then, Taylor, her heart overflowing with tenderness, asked a simple question, can I hug you? Anya's eyes welled up with tears, a mixture of joy and disbelief. Yes, she whispered, her voice choked with emotion. Taylor enveloped Anya in a warm embrace, their bodies connected in a moment of shared humanity. Anya, her head resting on Taylor's shoulder, felt a wave of peace wash over her, a temporary reprieve from the harsh reality of her illness. The hug lasted for what felt like an eternity, a silent conversation between two souls. As they finally parted, Anya's face glowed with a newfound radiance. Taylor, her eyes glistening with tears, whispered, thank you, Anya. 
You've touched my heart. Later that night, as Taylor took the stage, a part of her carried the memory of Anya, a reminder of the power of human connection. Anya, back in her hospital bed, drifted off to sleep, the warmth of Taylor's embrace lingering in her heart. Anya's journey ended a few weeks later, but her spirit lived on, forever intertwined with the memory of her idol. Taylor, in a private tribute, dedicated a song to Anya during a subsequent concert, her voice filled with emotion as she sang of love, loss, and the enduring power of the human spirit. Anya's story became a testament to the impact one person can have on another, a reminder that even in the darkest of times, there is always room for compassion, empathy, and love. The lights dimmed, and the roar of the crowd in the Letzigrund Stadium in Zurich echoed as Taylor Swift, adorned in a glittering bodysuit, took the stage. The energy was palpable, a sea of Swifties singing in unison, their faces alight with pure joy. But tonight was different. A ripple of anticipation pulsed through the venue, a shared secret between Taylor and a special fan named Anya. Anya, a young woman with a radiant smile despite her battle with cancer, had one last wish, to meet her idol. Through the Make-A-Wish Foundation, her dream was coming true. Taylor, known for her compassion and connection with her fans, wanted to make this night extraordinary for Anya. As Taylor launched into her set, her eyes scanned the crowd, searching for Anya's face. She spotted her in the VIP section, a handmade sign reading, Taylor, can I hug you, clutched in her frail hands. Anya's eyes sparkled with hope and a touch of nervousness. During a break between songs, Taylor's gaze locked onto Anya's. A hush fell over the stadium as Taylor spoke into her microphone. I see you, Anya, she said, her voice soft yet clear, and your sign touched my heart. But before I do anything, I need to ask your permission. Can I hug you? Tears welled up in Anya's eyes as she nodded vigorously, her heart overflowing with happiness. The crowd erupted in cheers, a wave of love and support washing over Anya. Taylor descended from the stage, her security detail clearing a path through the ecstatic fans. Reaching Anya, Taylor knelt beside her, a radiant smile on her face. Anya, trembling with emotion, reached out, and Taylor enveloped her in a warm embrace. It was a moment frozen in time, a testament to the power of human connection and the magic of music. Whispering words of encouragement and love into Anya's ear, Taylor held her close, their shared moment a beacon of hope in the darkness. When they finally parted, Anya's face glowed with pure joy. She had received her hug, but more than that, she had felt seen, heard, and loved. The concert continued, a whirlwind of music and dance, but the memory of that embrace lingered. It was a reminder that even in the face of adversity, kindness and compassion can ignite a spark of joy. For Anya, that hug was a gift, a cherished memory that would forever hold a special place in her heart. And for Taylor, it was a testament to the profound impact she had on her fans, a reminder of the power of music to heal and to unite.